My name is Hortense Leferrand. I'm assistant professor at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. So today I'm very proud to be receiving the Scientific Achievement Award. So I found about the awards two years ago, and the reason I was applying is because when you are assistant professor in tenure track, it's kind of a requirement to get an award. And I found about it, I found it very inspiring that it was mostly for women. And so two years ago, I was already trying to draft what I would write. And then I waited until I achieved what I wanted. And then I applied uh, this year. So my work is on developing processes to fabricate materials in a more sustainable way. So a lot of my inspiration in the science behind the fabrication is inspired by nature and the way uh, nature fabricates material using a uh, small, uh, restricted amount of resources, yet the performance of the materials that are made uh, can go from very soft materials to very hard materials. So I'm um, very happy to receive this award. It's uh, a great validation that my work can have an, a real impact in the society. And also, because I'm in mechanical aerospace engineering, where we don't have so many women, I think it's also a great uh, way to showcase more women in this particular field. So to me, receiving these awards means a lot, because it's a great validation that my work can have an impact in the society. And uh, because I'm in mechanical and aerospace engineering, where there are not so many women, I think it's a great sign that uh, we need more women in this field. So I plan to use these awards to actually look more deeply into uh, side projects from my research. So I mean engineering, I will still do engineering, but I would like to look more at, for example, the public perception of these processes that I'm developing. So these kind of side uh, tracks from the research. So my research is quite multidisciplinary. Um, my background is initially in chemistry, then I moved to material science, and now I'm in aerospace engineering because I'm moving into processes. And actually, f um, the nature inspiration comes from natural curiosity, and because initially I wanted to study biology. So I think all everything links up uh, into this very uh, fascinating multidisciplinary work. Yeah, yeah so I have a team with uh, about six research fellows, so postdocs, uh, six PhD students, and then I have a couple of master students and undergraduate students. The particularity in my team is that I take uh, uh, researchers with background from mechanics and also from material science, and then I invite collaborators from other departments, so for example, uh, physics, uh, also art and design. So that uh, makes it very collaborative. So we have uh, group meetings every week where we can bounce ideas, and this really makes the uh, project move forward a lot. There are many challenges. Uh, maybe I talk about the one that we have uh, still now, which is how to translate uh, the research that we do in the lab. So uh, we develop processes, but at the end of the day, what we are making, you know, it's very small and tiny. And if we want it to be applied in the world, we need to scale everything up. So I think that's one of the big challenges that we are facing now. I think one challenge is the implicit bias that everybody has, which makes that as a women we have less credibility when we try to promote our work, especially uh, when it's a little bit uh, exotic or innovative. Uh, and when we try to talk, for example, to industry or to convince a uh, funding agency that, oh, this is uh, blue sky research, you should invest in this, although we don't have the result yet. Um, I think as a, as a woman, it's a little bit more challenging. I think now it's a great time for any women to enter the field of mechanical and aerospace engineering, for example, because there is a growing awareness that we need more women in these areas. And there is also a need for innovation, thinking outside the box. So if you come with a new perspective, a new background, uh, maybe other ideas, then there is a higher chance to make an impact. So I think it's uh, really a good time now. 
Um, so awards like this are really important for women in STEM because it gives um, the recognition that uh, women deserve and then they show to the world that uh, women can be credible and can produce work that are meaningful for uh, the society. So currently I'm assistant professor. So my next uh, step is to apply for the tenure, which I'm planning to do in February. Um, so it's definitely good timing with, with the award. And then I'm planning to continue my research and to um, diversify the applications. So currently my processes have applications in electronics. I'm trying also to see if I can apply it for the biomedical field. So when I was a PhD student, uh, we were, you know, working a lot uh, all day. So I remember that very specific day where I was walking in the corridor of the university. And then I saw a poster about a career event for women in chemistry. I was not in chemistry. I was in material science. But then I thought, oh, maybe that speaks to me. I mean, I'm a woman. Maybe I should attend that event. And I went to this event, and it was a presentation uh, sharing uh, how there is a drop in of women in academia from PhD student, postdoc, prof, and, and so on. And uh, for me, that was a big eye opener. And from then on, I tried to attend many of these career events for women, where a lot of fantastic women share tips or share their experience. And I think that was a great inspiration for me.